My name is uh, Grace Osic. I'm a faculty at IOM department here at Marshall School. And I'm here with some of our uh, students, MBA students, who took electives in our department. So if you guys just want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is uh, Sean Flynn. I'm a second year MBA student at USC Marshall School of Business. My name is uh, Chin Mai. I'm also a second year MBA candidate at uh, USC Marshall School of Business. Yeah. Hi, my name is Yang. Second year full time. Hi, my name is Alfred Chung, and I'm a second year full time MBA candidate. So, I uh, guess you're all here because you took some of the electives in the OM department. So, if you can tell us something about the electives that you took and uh, something about those electives. I took two IOM electives last year, and that would be advanced regression analysis and spreadsheet based business modeling. With the Advanced uh, regression analysis, I would say it was probably the most demanding class that I took last year. It was extremely complex. We learned everything from heteroskedasticity into advanced levels of interpretation for how to you know, work through the minutia and within any type of regression, which was fantastic. We learned a ton. Um, a lot of team involvement, hands-on, uh, very applicable to any job that utilizes that um, quanti quantitative type of position. And then the other class that I took, the spreadsheet-based business modeling, was my favorite class that I took all last year. It's probably the most entertaining. Um, Professor Hiroshi Ochiumi was my favorite. It was hilarious. But, um, we did everything from calculating craps um, statistics uh, for a casino to utilizing solver, crystal ball, and um, creating national databases for f um, optimization of um, manufacturing plants. Thanks. Yeah, I actually took a lot of operations electives, but uh, the two I'd like to talk about are operations consulting with uh, Professor Raj and uh, designing spreadsheet-based business models with uh, Professor Zhang Hao. Now, the best part about both these electives is that, uh, you know, they don't just teach you the concept, but along with it, you, you actually get to learn a lot of frameworks and tools involved so that, you know, whatever business plan that you put forward, you can actually back it with the help of numbers and figures. And companies love that, you know. So if, if you put a strategic plan in front of a company, but you know, they'd, they'd appreciate it. But if you put a plan which also has numbers in it, you, know, you become an asset with the company. So, and that's exactly what happened with me. So you know, I didn't really have an operations background before Marshall. But thanks to these electives, I was able to talk a lot about operations, uh, supply chain, optimization. In my internships, in my, in my interviews, and you know, that's the reason I ended up you know, getting uh, an awesome internship this summer. So I'd really encourage, uh, you know, students to take these electives if, uh, you know, they want to get into operations or they want to end up in jobs which are close to operations. Uh, these are good choices because uh, they do add value. So I took one um, operational electives last semester. Um, it was design expression modeling. I was taking with Chime. Um, the best thing about the class is uh, prior to coming to Marshall, I used a lot of Excels, but the class actually took me on another level to use this um, um, solvers, um, regression, so that I can utilize more with a lot of data that I can really like, use my hands to actually solve it. But thanks to these tools that I can re um, realize that I can actually leverage my ability over the top of the complex problems. So last year I took uh, supply chain management with Professor Shoshish, and this semester I'm taking designing spreadsheet-based business models with Professor Zhao. Uh, supply chain management was a very valuable course for me, um, especially considering I had an internship in supply chain over the summer. I was able to utilize a lot of the concepts I learned in class during the summer in that internship, and it really kind of um, appealed to me the course in terms of my background as a software engineer. It really appealed to my problem solving, uh, my love of problem solving, and um, just my love of finding efficient ways to provide solutions to, to issues and problems. Um, I, I thought that the, the, my favorite part of the class is probably the guest lectures. I think the, uh, the practical um, advice or the stories that were given to us by these guest lecturers, I thought was extremely relevant. Um, to what I want to do in the future. And um, this semester in spreadsheet-based business models, I think it's an extremely practical course. 
um, that I find will provide a lot of value to me in my professional career, um, as Excel is an extremely powerful tool um, that can be used to, to solve very complex problems. Thanks. So uh, a few of you already said something about uh, how they were able to use some of uh, uh, the stuff that you learned in the electives in your internships. I think that, uh, did, did you say anything about it? I don't uh -huh. think. Um, I actually worked at Ingram Micro over the summer. I worked at the Global Trade Desk and rotated um, in a rotational management position. Ended up working with strategy, so corporate strategy. And what I did is I created a sales pipeline for the Global Trade Desk and brand new division that was launched. I was able to utilize that software. We created a tracking SOM type of spreadsheet system so that we could monitor product um, portfolios uh, versus our competitors and the regions in which they were located. Um, a lot of optimization and a lot of value added there. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use my uh, regression analysis <laughs> course <laughs> knowledge over the summer, but it would have been extremely helpful had I worked at AT&T. <laughs> I, I don't think I really actually directly used uh, you know, anything in my internship, but you know, on the way towards that internship, there were a lot of things which were happening at Marshall. For example, uh, everyone knows about the prime trip. So, you know, there's always this problem about, you know, people selecting, ranking their preferences about which country they want to visit for Prime. And, you know, more often than not, many people don't get the choice what they want. So, like we had, you know, mentioned in the earlier interview, uh, using optimization, using Solver, you, you, can get an, you can get to a point where you have at least close to 97% of the people actually getting the top two choices of their preference, which uh, till now has not been the case. So you know that's something on which we worked as a team. In fact, in a in a class which is completely different from uh, operations, it was in, I think it was in uh, OB, I think, uh, which which was you know helpful. So I, I actually used something that I learned in an elective uh, in uh, you know close to the end of first semester, and I applied it immediately, uh, you know, in the same semester. So during the preparation of the interviews and and meeting. Um, supply chain um, role, I feel confident because of this um, elective classes actually taught me. So I can um, say in confidence that I can use utilize Excel um, that I can really talk before I came here. So that was a big advantage actually um, in the preparation of these interviews and preparation for the job search. So over the summer I interned at Mattel and supply chain and I was located in the, or I was placed in the global procurement department. So I was able to utilize a lot of the learnings I took from supply chain management in terms of supplier management um, in that role. Uh, for example, keeping scorecards of your different suppliers and so forth. Also, during the summer, we got the opportunity to work on developing a new toy concept. So in that project, I was a supply chain lead and I had to develop an entire production planning schedule um, so supply chain management really prepared me in terms of determining what my optimal order quantity would be, um, what the safety stock would be, and so forth. Basically, all of the calculations that you need to do in order to arrive at, um, you know, creating the right amount of product and delivering it at the right time. Thanks. So just to go a little bit back, uh, as you are the only one who took the regression uh, now in this class, you, you mentioned that it's kind of uh, it was a demanding. So. Uh, what kind of uh, prerequisite knowledge students should have before taking that class if they intend to take this class? Right. Well, I was a math teacher before I came to school here. <laughs> <laughs> um, which should help. <laughs> which should help. Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't really feel like I was that prepared. I took a rigorous um, load my second semester, so it was actually too much. Um, the good news on that, though, is that Professor Porter, I remember emailing her 3.30, 4.30 in the morning on a Saturday morning, she'd respond. Or sending an email late at night on a Sunday night. I mean, assignments that typically would take, hopefully, six hours were taking me 15 hours. Um, and that's because I wanted to find the correct answer, which there isn't always a correct answer. It's a matter of interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and letting that go is, is oftentimes difficult. But there's the support that you need. Um, it's difficult to find. Um, proper tutors. Um, one of the um, assistant professors uh, from a different school started tutoring me and so the IOM department is very helpful you know and they'll, they'll um, 
network to find you the resources you need if they don't necessarily have the time to help. And so that's been a huge benefit, but I would tell first years to wait until their second year so they have more exposure via maybe um, one of Siddharth's classes or a regression analysis um, interaction course, maybe it's through a marketing or another operations class, get a better well-rounded basis and then jump into that class. Maybe take Gareth James, take his managerial statistics first and then try that. Um, and it, it's a great class and there's a lot of support for it and I learned a ton. Thanks. So uh, if you can tell us a little bit about what are your like, takeaways from these electives, like favorite moments or <laughs> you know, the best experiences that you have? The biggest takeaways I think is from the uh, second half of the operations or operations B in our core curriculum with Professor Hiroshi Ochiumi. Uh, he ended the semester um, with a talk about constraints and how normally people think of constraints as something negative, but the conversation kind of took this turn where he convinced the class that constraints can actually be quite liberating in that they force you to think about problems in new ways and find creative solutions uh, to the problem at hand, um, solutions that you may not have discovered before. So um, that's something that I really took to heart and I feel that regardless of where I go in terms of my career, um, I think that sort of operations thinking, thinking about being able to first identify the constraints and then also kind of have the, uh, not, not, I don't know, kind of be bold enough to sort of take those constraints on head on and um, try to figure out what the best way to go about. I think that's, that was probably my biggest takeaway so far in the electives. Yeah, I agree with the um, um, Alfred about that, that um, my best operational electives was um, done by Professor Uchimi. Um, like you said, um, approaching to the problems with different views actually um, giving you a lot of opportunity to see, to come up with the creative thinkings. Um, even though you still have constraints, but the way you actually see it, it actually um, changed the whole dynamics of the problems. And I think that's the best takeaway that I got from the electives. In my, uh, the part where we had to do a live project in uh, operations consulting, which to date has been the most challenging project uh, I've taken. Uh, not just because of the complexity involved, but because of all the other things that were involved with us, uh, you know, looking for internships, having many other courses as well at the same time. It was very demanding, but the way we pulled it off in the end was amazing. Uh, the teamwork involved was great, and one of the best parts about it is that the kind of client interaction where we ha that we had uh, in that experience was what I took uh, into my internship. So I interned at uh, Calypso Consulting, which is a boutique consulting firm doing uh, product lifecycle management and innovation consulting. And uh, you know, prior to that, uh, although I did have uh, client interaction experience, but the immediate experience I had in uh, the operations consulting course helped me a lot uh, in my internship. So I think that's uh, the key takeaway for me. As a career transitioner with a non-traditional background, I started off not in, in B school, not fully understanding even how to use Excel. Um, I think I've used it for used it one time for a grade book. I tried to, it was extremely inefficient, and I scrapped it <laughs> with another program that was automated. Um, so I was working on the integrated strategic marketing plan for Dean Badame's class. Um, it took me five hours to create a financials statement that should have taken me 30 minutes. And within the first day in Hiroshi's class, Hiroshi based business modeling, he took us through all the little tricks of the trade, such as double clicking on the bottom right corner of a, a, a cell, which you know should be common sense, right? But not everybody knows that. And inputting the number 50, 50 times can be extremely uh, important, <laughs> right? So it was like a godsend for me. I was like, wow, it's a miracle. I didn't know you could do this. And um, by the end of the semester, I was creating in a 30 minute window, my own portfolio um, of stock investment options and maximizing the return on those investments and going with the different periods and the, you know, inputs, outputs and looking at saying, wow, 
I went this far in three months. I mean, it was incredible. So I think the value add takeaway there is that ops can be, it, it should be rebranded, I think. Operations, when we came in, you ask students about it, they say, it's not a very sexy field, you know, you stay away from it, it's really boring. I think the opposite I encountered, it's probably the most hands-on and most applicable to your job setting. And um, so I felt it was very rewarding. I actually completely subscribe to what, uh, you know, you just mentioned because people have this, uh, you know, feeling that ops is like all techie, uh, math stuff, you know, a lot of work involved, which is true in some ways, but but then you, when you get that knowledge, you, you can practically apply it to anything. You can apply it to marketing. If, if you get into the core uh, te technicalities of marketing, it's, it's huge. It has regression, it has operations, it has everything. Uh, so is the case with finance as well. So even though you don't really want to get into operations, which is my case as well, I, I'm not sure if I might get into operations, but I want to stay as close to it as possible. Purely because you know, the, the knowledge that you gain is really directly applicable. So prior to here, I worked in a um, manufacturing company. I was working on product um, development. I was actually thinking um, after taking these operation classes that it would have been actually easier if I understood those stuff when I worked in the company because anything from design to um, manufacturing, um, checking everything is okay, it is all operational. I mean. You don't understand the business or the core of the business without knowing this operational um, electives. Um, and I, w I want all the first um, years, anyone comes to business school, I want you to um, step back and think about the classes that you're actually taking and think about the time that you're actually leaving this school and you realize that operation will, will help you to, um, to fulfill your um, time or journey in the MBA school. Um, so before school, I was um, a software engineer, and um, in that role, I didn't realize it, but at the time, I was practicing operations. And now, after having taken a couple of electives and interned in an operations-specific role, uh, I think I've kind of decided that operations is really just a, a way of thinking. Um, I think you can really abstract it to mean just a few things, basically. One, how do you cut costs? How do you improve quality? How do you improve customer service? And all that kind of ties into maximizing profit, right? So this is something that I think anybody um, in any role in business should have at top of mind. Um, regardless of whether you're working in marketing or in finance, always keeping in the back of your head um, just the reality of the decisions that you are making and how that's going to impact the business, not just in terms of the revenue it'll generate, but also in the costs or in the quality. And I think that this also kind of ties into sustainability and corporate responsibility. Um, this sort of holistic thinking where you aren't um, focused so specifically on just, so if, say if you're in marketing and you're just focused on just selling your product, you know, that could really make you blind to other parts of the business that could have a really big impact on the future of your company. So um, operations for me has really made me more of a holistic thinker um, when it comes to business. Okay, thank you guys very much. It was really very useful and very helpful. I feel like I need to applaud and thank you for all the nice <laughs> words that you said about that. <laughs>